So we're going to talk about lupus, limes, fibromyalgia, things like this. So you understand those. You have to understand any concept that the medical doctors have on the concept of diseases. You have to understand how the body works. You first have to understand that in life you're dealing with two sides of chemistry. That's it. And that you're living in a world where everything is chemistry. You breathe it, you eat it, you swim in it, you walk through it. The air is full. There's no voids. So we have a full of chemistry, but there's only two sides of it. So you have to learn that. You have to learn which side is the gnarly side, which side is the corrosive side, which is the acid side. Most people can understand that by just going down to the store, getting a Coca-Cola, putting a big sip of Coke in the mouth and just holding it in your mouth. How, can you, how long can you hold a 3 pH acid in your mouth? Well, you have some mucosic responses to that, but if you didn't, you wouldn't hold long because that 3 pH acid would burn the mucosa. That's the same acids leaving your cells as byproducts from metabolic waste and, and waste from respiratory and all, all the other factors involved. You've got uh, carbonic acid, you've got boratic acid, you've got phosphoric acid, you've got all these acids that are around basically 275 to 325 pH, uh, real hot. So when you feel pain, that's what you're feeling. So when you feel pain, these acids that your cells are eliminating as byproducts, as your children would poop, your cells poop. So these acids have to be removed. Can't be removed by the blood because the blood isn't designed to deal with acids. You need lipids. You need some, something more substances than water soluble. Where are you going to get it? That's the lymph system. And that's the system that you absorb your fatty acids into in your small bowel. So this lymph system, you have to learn about your lymph system and what acids are to understand this. But all these are the same. I don't care if they're viral. Look at this. Lyme. So everybody's confused on limes, and everybody's been bit by a tick, which is bull crap. You know, this is just all bull crap. All these people all have the same problem, systemic acidosis. No matter the viral loads, it doesn't matter what the, the extenuating circumstances are, it's all systemic acidosis. And they wouldn't have any of that had they had an internally clean environment. So you're going into your internal environment and you have to understand that your body is simplistically made. You've got a bunch of cells and two fluids that handle them. One fluid feeds them, one fluid cleans them. Just like your baby you bring home from the hospital, you got to feed them, but you also got to clean the waste away from their bottoms. And that's the same thing that God has to deal with with every cell, and you got a hundred trillion of them. So you have this gigantic sewer system called the lymphatic system. When it's backed up and the kidneys aren't filtering that system, that's when you start to get acidosis, and that's inflammation initially. When it's inside the cell, then we call that intracellular acidosis, and the word we call used for that is cancer. But before, on the outside of a cell, it's inflammation, and everybody has pain everywhere in the joints. There's precursors to this, and the precursors are weak kidneys and adrenals. Not filtering your sewer system anymore, it's backing up. The adrenals are low, your steroids are low, you're having a hard time fighting acids, your cholesterols go up fighting acids, your calciums are being pulled out to fight, cal to fight acids, so you get yourself in some serious ways. Fixable, every one of them. It's not difficult to turn the whole thing around. You get your kidneys and adrenals fixed, filtering this lymph system, and your body just removes all these acids. Any mutations will go back to normal, and your body becomes whole again. If not, it'll chew you up, burn you to death until you go into the fetal position all gnarly, and your life is a living hell. And yet, very easy to remedy those. But you lump all those together, fibromyalgia, uh, you can do fibrocystic breasts, you can do uh, fibroids in the uterus, endometriosis, they're all of the same system. That's the thing is, most diseases, medical doctors coin the word diseases, are all found in the lymph system. Very few true blood disorders. Even leukemia is not truly a blood disorder. It's a lymphatic breakdown of spleen or, or, or uh, bone marrow. So it, it just understanding the lymphatic system and the two sides of chemistry and, and the kidney connection and all that. And once you get that, like you guys, you got it. Keep it simple and you have your, you have your wellness. Now the real journey is spiritual, like you were saying earlier. <laughs> That's the real journey.